R&T is very important so because um, it supports all processes for our customers, beginning from the concept to the commercial production. So uh, in R&T, we, um, we do all our process development, process implementation uh, of um, process which come from the customers where we produce some APIs for, but also we do some um, own research on new APIs and new uh, substances which could provide benefit for, for our uh, customers, for example, for the biocide sector or uh, nutrition or consumer health. NMR we do here at the site in FIS for more than 30 years. So we use it um, for structure elucidation, so if we have an impurity um, occurring in the production to try to identify it. And uh, we use it also for, um, for a determination of assay of, compo of compounds or the identity of compounds for raw material testing. Most of the methods come from our customers, so we get a process, we uh, get methods from the customer and then we implement both. But uh, in certain process we have a little bit yeah, freedom where we, can, where we can maybe use other methods. And there we try to be as cost efficient and uh, try to use as uh, less labor as uh, possible. And uh, NMR gives there a big chance because uh, if you look at um, HPLC or chromatographic method in general. Um, they're widely used in every lab, that's very uh, nice, but they have some drawbacks which you can overcome with, with NMR. When you calibrate, so these calibration sequences, it takes very long. With NMR you just weigh in your sample, put in your internal standards and then you get out your, your result. We use very heavily NMR tune our R&T phases. So uh, most of our uh, samples we measure are R&T samples, so we have an open access NMR instrument where all the synthetic chemists could uh, measure their samples. But on the other hand, um, in the QC, most of the tests rely on the classical chromatographic methods like GC, HPLC, and to overcome this, uh, we started this project three years ago. Um, so where we want to uh, evaluate if we could transfer some HPLC method to NMR. And um, with the help of a software, we've, or at the end we find a software from Bruker, which uh, help us to achieve this goal. And now we are in the phase implementing um, this kind of or this project and we bought last year a new instrument and now um, starting to support the first productions.